On October 13, 2014, I, <clears throat> Officer Reamer, received a call from dispatch regarding a 24-hour restaurant that has just been robbed. Dispatch continued to state that shots were fired and one person was shot in the arm and the, sus and the suspect fled on foot. I responded to the call and arrived on the scene a short while later. Upon, upon arriving to the scene, EMS was already on the scene treating the victim. I approach the victim and gather the basic information. The victim's name is Tyler Smith, a 21-year-old Caucasian male wearing a black baseball cap, red t-shirt, black pants, and black shoes. While talking to Smith, I asked what happened. <clears throat> Smith responds that he was busting a few tables when a man came in wearing a black stocking cap, black shirt, black pants, and black shoes, waving around a gun and yelling, everyone, yelling at everyone to get down. Smith continued to state that he tried to reason with the individual but ended up getting shot in the arm as a result. Smith chased after the inv individual um, then eventually collapsed in the parking lot where he only remembers waking up to the paramedics. I asked approximately what time did he observe the individual enter the restaurant. He continues that he thinks around 10.30 p.m., but wasn't sure. He continued that he only had about 30 minutes left in his shift, but was planning on staying later to help a coworker. I asked if he saw the suspect enter or exit a vehicle prior to entering the store or after exiting the store. Concluding the interview, I asked a witness if she could help me answer some questions. She agreed. The witness stated her name was Kylie Saka, and she stated she saw everything that happened. Saka stated that she saw a black male exit a white GMC terrain at approximately 10.15 p.m. as she was counting the, her drawer down. Saka stated that the suspect was wearing a black shirt and black pants. She also stated the suspect was wearing a clasp ring on their middle finger. She stated the suspect came in and yelled that, that everyone needs to get down and instructed her to hand over the money. At this time, the Smith intervened and tried to get the suspect to leave. The suspect shot Smith and fled on foot. <clears throat> she then called 911. As I, entered, as I ended the interview with Saka, I concluded that the vehicle su su the suspect arrived to the restaurant and was not in the parking lot. I gathered inf everyone's information so I could reach them at a later date. <clears throat> 